Hi friends, welcome back to my channel SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to all talk about the interest impressions and the specification details about the MI Lite and E 5G device. Yes, friends, finally the phone has got launched in the Amazon website, and you can see the price details around here. But during the sale, the price you can actually decrease as well by using the different bank offers and coupon codes as well. The final price of the 6 GB RAM will be coming around close to 23,500 rupees, and 8 GB RAM will be coming about 25,500 rupees. These are the price details. Now let's move to the another specifications what are the related to this M11 Lite NE which looks really great that's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. So first basic thing about the build quality of course this is a very light mobile phone which has got about 158 grams of weight and 6.9 6.81 millimeters of ultra sim bezels as well as you can see it's re which looks really good very slim and 158 grams only 158 grams that's really less weight I would say as you can see friends. There's a comparison with other smartphones uh, with, which has got slim profiles like Moto H20 which has 7mm and uh, MI11 Lite NE has got close to 6.81mm. You can see the comparisons how they describe comparing with other smartphones. So this can be one of the slimmest uh, profile in this segment and we do have the Snapdragon 778G. So it's another good thing. So slim and more powerful chipset we can actually get in this device so right now with the snapdragon 778g and i think you have a storage maybe kind of close to 2.2 2 2, i think so at this moment because there's no information in this website at this moment regarding the lpddr uh, ram type and about the ufs storage i'm expecting maybe close to 2.2 .2 and lpddr 4x ram type that's what i'm expecting but i'm not sure i'll try to get those things back again but we do have the 12 5g bands as a connectivity that's also another advantage as a future proof option when we do have the nfc as well in this device which you can actually pay so using the phone as well that's another good thing and the display is of 10 bit dolby vision display that's another fantastic friends dolby vision display you'll be getting in this device that's very good 6.55 inches amoled screen so amoled screen you are getting an hdr 10 plus certified and uh, optimized for the netflix content as well gorilla glass 5 production wide l1 certification also available for this uh, phone that's good and Regarding the refresh rate, the phone will be having the 90 hertz of refresh rate and 240 hertz the touch sampling rate in this device. In the ML and light any so 90 hertz, not bad. 90 hertz kind of still worries me. They could have included the 120 hertz refresh rate that could be really great deal, but still that 90 hertz is again repeating in the same model as well when compared with the previous light model. So 90 hertz and 240 hertz touch sampling rate. At least the touch sampling rate slightly got improved from 180 hertz. That's another good thing. So camera will be triple camera separate on the back side, 64 megapixel camera lens and 8 megapixel ultra wide uh, lens will be available and we can actually see the tele ma macro camera lens as well and there will be plenty of other video effects which you can actually use time freeze magic zoom night time lapse as well freeze frame videos slow shutter and parallel world these are the couple of other advantages which are included in this uh, mlm light so not only that the bonus advantage is that three years of android updates three years of android updates and the four years of security updates that's really huge climbs, I would say, three years. So usually the companies will be offering two plus three, but they moved into three plus four. That's kind of really good to see. And hopefully in the next couple of, uh, I think, releases, the, the company should be increasing this kind of Android updates. So they should target this one's 5Gs and they should target even the future-proof option as well. That's what I'm expecting. But it's re really good to see this kind of MI11 Lite NE has got this kind of updates. Three years and four years of security patch updates. That's so fantastic. And the battery capacity is of close to 4,250 mAh of battery capacity. 50% in the 20 minutes of time it can actually charge. And which has got a 33 watts charger as well in built. 30 watts are you included. And we do have the dual stereo speaker setup. So dual stereo speaker setup you are getting and the fingerprint scanner side fingerprint scanner only. I think there is no 3.5mm jack at this price range. Overall friends, these are the complete details about the MI11 Lite NE 5G. So definitely having this kind of slim profile, expecting that 3.5mm jack is not that uh, good. I would, they, I can definitely understand. So the complete details about this device and let me know in the comment section below. Are you interested in this phone or not? In what phone are you interested? Iqoo Z5 or MI11, Xiaomi MI11 Lite NE or Samsung 